everybody. Oops, I got in too early. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I'm fresh back from Vegas. Just got back from fabulous Las Vegas. It was a great trip. Oh my gosh. Uh, I got to meet some YouTubers. I had a lot of fun. I won a little bit of money. And I went to dinner with the famous gambling granny and Dice. I started YouTube during the whole lockdown when she, I was watching her channel and she talked me into, she's like, well, you don't have gambling, but what do you like to do? And I said, I like to craft and I like to make snacks and barbecue and things like that. She's like, you gotta do that, just do it. So I was so happy to see them in Vegas and I witnessed her huge $13,000 jackpot. It was over 13,000. I got chills just seeing the payout on that. And I didn't win anything like that, <laughs> but I came home with eight, well, I didn't come home with all of it, but I won 1,800, so that was my big jackpot. I mean, I won a little, you know, a little bit here and there, 250, 350, whatever, but Friday night, it was so late, it was early. I think it was like two in the morning Vegas time, I won a little bit. So, I on dancing drums, one of my favorites. So, anyway, I was laughing about that. But anyway, I don't want to say it's good to be back. I'll miss it because I love, I love going there. I just love it. Once you come back to Texas, all that stops. There's nothing. There is no gambling. There is no drinking at nine in the morning. There is none of that stuff. <laughs> so, that's why we're doing this because I'm hungry and I'm going to eat. So, I'm going to watch a movie. And so, oh, and I got to unpack. Unpacking is the worst. If somebody opened up a business that was unpacking, they would make millions of dollars. But, oh my gosh, I went shopping at the antique, Vegas Antique Mall, right there by downtown. We stayed downtown. We gave up the strip after about 20 years. They just weren't comping us. They just didn't give a lot of stuff. We go downtown. We love the old Cortez. I'm so glad we stayed there. I like going shopping. I like the art district. I like all, I like all that stuff. And I found this awesome glass. I paid 20 bucks for it. I know, I know, kind of crazy, but I just love it. It was put out by the Pepsi company. I'm thinking about 1971. It's Speedy Gonzalez, and that's my maiden name. So my maiden name is Gonzalez. So I used to collect a lot of Speedy stuff and I can't find it anymore. And I didn't have this, so I was so excited. So big sip, I've got a margarita to go with all my little tostadas here. So big sip, mm. Whew, I can barely even do that. <laughs> Taking a sip of a drink today is almost a little hard. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm drying out the rest of the week. So come on back here because let me tell you how easy this is. You're going to make this in three ways. And you can do your vegetarian. You can just do your beans, your cheese, your onions, your little condiments here of your tomatoes and lettuce and all that. But if you want to kick it up a notch, oh my gosh, you really want to go a little, you know, a little more fancier, you can do your shrimp ones or you can do your turkey. I use ground turkey, ground beef, get your taco meat. So we're going to start off with our base, which has always been the beans. And buy these anywhere, guys. Guerrero sells a really good brand. They're anywhere. They're at every grocery store. I think they're at the dollar store. They're excellent. And you can heat them up. I like to kind of heat them up a little bit on a, on a cookie sheet, but you don't have to. You don't have to. So we're going to start with the base of this, and we're just going to spread a little bit on here. And you can add your jalapenos, all the good stuff, you know. And if you like better, you know, you could do this with brisket. This is just, it's just fun. And if you want to make a bar of this at, for a party, a happy hour, it's it, it's a it's a hit. I'm telling you, you set up a little tostada bar because they're easier than tacos. Tacos are good, but they're just harder to keep warm and all that. This is good if it gets a little cool. So it's just perfect. So we're gonna whoops, we're gonna we're gonna add some beans to to both of these, and then we'll add guacamole to the to the other one. But I am dying to eat some of this. I thought, I want some salsa. I thought, I want some shrimp. So I just started sauteing and all this stuff. And what I was gonna tell you is, if you don't know how to do, if your shrimp is just frozen, it's in your fridge, don't worry about it. You saute this with a little bit of salsa. I use about four, tea, four tablespoons, or you can also put this on a cookie sheet douse a little bit, you know, just kind of, you know, sprinkle a little bit of salsa, bake that for 20 minutes. It comes out so nice. It's just good. It's spicy. You don't have to do all the work. You know, some people they're like, oh, you know, I'm going to have to season it with taco meat. Not, I mean, taco seasoning. You don't have to do that. So let's get started with, let's do, let's do one of the, let's do one of the meat here. Just, just because I like ground turkey. I just do. I just do. 
I like ground turkey. I hope everybody's doing great. It was so great meeting the Kinos. I met Kino Candy and Kino. They got a picture of me, I know. I was like, oh no, I'm so old. But I'm in their picture. I'm kind of like, oh no. I'm a little worried about that. And also, I met One-Eyed Jack and Jamie. They were at dinner with us. They're excellent. My husband really liked him too because he was an MP like my husband was. So they had a lot to talk about. It was funny, but it was so great seeing everybody. So neat to meet YouTubers that come to your channel. You get to see them. It's just funny. It's just funny. You're like, oh, you're the person. You know, you're the person leaving me comments. So if I haven't caught up on your channel, I apologize and I will. I will. I'm going to go watch everybody today. Everybody. This is the beans. One of my favorites with the, with the little, the little shrimp and... You garnish these any way you want. So we're gonna start off with these. We're gonna start off with this one. Then we're gonna do our guacamole one. Here's my, let's see, let's put this on top of here. See if I'm running out of room here. Oh, this is one of my favorites, guys. Guacamole. I just, I could just eat them like this. This is what, this is actually one of my favorites. I just like just the, the cheese, the, you know, just plain, whatever. But I mean, you know, I'm hungry today, so that's why I got some meat. So anyhow, add your guacamole. And I just did this with seasoned salt. Add your onions, add your tomatoes, make your guacamole the way you want. So I've got three going right now. And the last one I'm gonna make, guys, is just black beans. I'm just gonna do the black beans because I know people, whoops, I know people like the black beans. And I know some people don't eat meat. So that's what made me think about it. And the way I like the black bean one is with a little bit of, a little bit of corn. A little bit of corn and the guacamole. That way, you know, it just keeps your diet simple. Keeps your diet simple. You're not, you know, you're not a meat eater. You don't have to worry about it. And just add a little bit of the guacamole. So good. So good. Mm. It was hard not to snack on all this. It was just hard. I was like, oh my gosh, I just want to eat all this. So then what you're going to do, guys, and if you don't have these shells, this is the best part. If you don't have these taco shells, don't worry about it. You can get your own tortilla, your own tortillas that are flour, and you're gonna bake these, you're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes on 380 maybe, maybe 15 minutes. You gotta keep an eye on them, and you're just gonna make them crispy in the oven. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to put olive oil, nothing, it keeps them a little bit healthier, and you can just get the keto brand, get whatever tortillas you want. I like the snap, as you can see, uh, so easy. So. Don't worry if you don't have any of this. Everybody's got tortillas, at least I think they do. I keep tortillas in the fridge, but you could do it like this too. And we'll make one real quick. We'll make one real quick. So this is gonna be so good. I get to take a bite of everything. I get to take a bite of everything. So, like I tell you, I was like, oh, I'm doing three-way tostadas today. I thought, because there's just too many, there's too many flavors you can put on here. Just too many. And then for your garnishing dishes, you're just gonna use your, you're gonna use your lettuce, tomato, and your cheese, and your salsa. That's even the best part. That's even the best part. Oh, I went to Kino Nation, oh my gosh. Okay, I met James Spitzer, and I went to the Kino party, and I couldn't stay long because we hadn't eaten. We went to a concert, we saw Neil Diamond look a lot, which is one of our favorites. Jay White does the best Oh my gosh, he's he gives me chills. I mean, I, I'm watching him and I'm crying because he's so good. He's just so good. So we went to South Point to watch Jay White. He was excellent. We used to see him at the Riviera like 20 years ago. And now he's back, he's back. And his show was excellent, excellent. So we were at South Point, ran over to the Palms, said hello to everybody and Bradley, I'm so glad I met you because you're the best moderator on all these channels. Big kisses to you. I mean, I don't even know how you do it. I'm, I'm, you know, I can maybe handle a couple, but I can't do, I can't do what you do. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. He must have like seven computers in his house. So anyway, I'm just garnishing this, guys. You can see where I'm going. You can see where I'm going with this. This is all so good. My plain guacamole one needs tomatoes. Ah. Okay, okay, so we're done with that. And I hope you like my craft today because it's something silly and I've done it before. So it's time to eat, time to eat. Let's have some fun here. Let's have some fun. Let me take a bite of one of these. Ooh, I can't decide, I can't decide. Here's my plate. Here's my plate and which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with my turkey meat one. And 
if you want to, you know, you want to make it a little fancier in your buffet, add your Spanish rice, guys. Buy whatever, the instant whatever. Make your own. I know, I know. I don't make my own. I know. Uh, I just buy whatever, you know, or I get it at a restaurant. So, you know, make it into a meal or make it a snack or use this for leftovers or a quick lunch. I love it. So I'm going to take a bite. Mm. I'm going to take a bigger bite than that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 I can't tell you how good all the flavors are when they come together. As you get your meat, you get your lettuce and tomato, you get your corn, whatever you put on here. And it's just so good. And you know, if you want to add the spicier stuff, the better beans, the better cheese, do it, you know. But this is great for a party, or like I tell you, it, it's impressive. Set up a whole bar. But if this works, this works. I love it. I'm going to have a good time. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I hate coming back to Texas, but what can I do? You know, I wish I could live there, but we know we can't live there. <laughs> We know better. <laughs> we wish we could in the housing market. Oh, I don't know. I'd, have, I'd need a million dollars to buy a house. But this is my craft. Don't laugh. In my lifetime, I've outgrown several belts. So that's why I converted my belts into decorations for my picture frames. So this is a silly little craft. And I take my old belts. And I've done this before. I've showed it off before. And I just thought, you know what? It's been a while since I showed it. So I'm doing this. I take my belts. I cut them. And I trim my picture frames with it because these are just plain picture frames that are getting older. So I take my belts, measure this hot glue or use the E6000 glue. And this is the other one that was left. This is the same belt. I'm going to make a bracelet out of this and I'm going to the rodeo next week because the rodeo is in town. So, and it's huge. Oh my gosh. It's up there by the Astrodome. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be funny. So I'm going to be wearing all this stuff with my boots. And I'm working on one right now, working on one. There's a picture of Paul. When you used to be able to catch like 12 flounder, look at all this flounder he caught fishing and his little dog with him. Um, that, was, uh, that was Chelsea, we loved her. That was our Boston Terrier. And uh, let's see here, here, I'm getting started on another one. Super easy, not gonna take you five minutes. This belt got really weird. I don't know what happened. It was that fake leather, started falling apart. I thought, I'm not wearing that. So I love the crystals on it and I didn't want to throw it away. So I'm taking this, I cut it and I'm going to add this to the top and to the bottom and make my picture frame a lot prettier than this old thing. So I just liked it and I don't know, I might make it maybe, you know, add a little piece to a headband or something. I just like the way it looks. Whoops, it just looks good, you know, and you measure, you know, you measure and cut if you want to go, you know, two pieces or one piece. But I loved it. It's easy. Get all these belts over at Goodwill, whatever. They're a dollar. I don't think they cost much. Or look in your closet if you're not using a belt. Make it into something beautiful. It's that easy. So I thank you for coming back. Big sip. Like I tell you, it was a great weekend. It's like a roller coaster there. Woo woo. <laughs> but we love the El Cortez. That's why I'm wearing my shirt. And I got to meet the owner, Kenny Epstein. I ran up to him. I hope I didn't scare him. He's like, whoa, whoa, lady. <laughs> But it was wonderful meeting Kenny Epstein, the owner of the El Cortez. We love staying there. They treat us so well. We get we get a lot of comps. We get the free parking. We love it. We love everything about it. And I like winning there. So anyway, big cheers, guys. Big kisses. Have a great week. And I'll see you later. Bye.